Welcome back to CCLP5. We're on level 104, Escape the Monotony. And, aha, uh -huh, so we have a few identical looking rooms. It looks like in the bottom left room, top right. So maybe there are just four rooms. And given that there are four chips, that seems kind of likely. Um, what's the goal here? So I need to get a block. I need to like uh, basically block off this area and get to the exit. That requires using three blocks in the same room. Right, so let's just pick up a bunch of keys. Okay, we can, so right now we have access kind of to the main parts of free rooms. Oh, actually all the rooms. Wait, was there an odd number of rooms? No, there's an even number. Oh, yeah, it's because I went for the teleport. Okay, so that gives us access to all the chips and everything else. Um, let's get the last chip. And now if I didn't have this red key, I could get another pair of fire boots. But why, why on earth would I want another pair of fire boots? Well, this is interesting. I can get the blue key, and I think that's going to be the key to getting all the blocks in the same room. Yeah, so the blue key allows me to push. Actually, what does it allow me to do? Uh, potentially, I can. Hold on, let's start by getting all the yellow keys. No wait, I can't even start by getting all the yellow keys because that would require getting these fire boots, which I'm not sure I want to do. Uh, but let's get this, these blue keys and step on the thief, I guess. So we need to get, we basically need to push three blocks over here. No, we only need to push uh, one block down here and then the other two blocks down here and then the other block can be pushed just to the right. Um, okay. I feel like right now we want to pick up another pair of fire boots and then... Um, oh, okay, so... I'll open this door and then I'll pick up the fire boots in this room. And the yellow key, why not? And what does that allow me to do? Um, I can push this this way and I can push it straight up from this position, right? I think I can. Also, do you want the blue key? Probably. Oh, alright. But now... Um, oh, I do have a yellow key. So now I can do this to push the block up one time. And I think we just want to push every block into this room. How do we accomplish that? Actually, I think getting the blue key was a mistake. Let's for now use it on some random door. Uh, get another yellow key. So we... Okay, we, we can't push this block over yet. We need to push another block into this room. And how do we do that? Um, do that by doing this. Getting the red, uh, the blue key, and then pushing that block downwards. No, why do we want to push that block downwards? How do we get blocks for the teleporter? Because we're going to need to get 
as I said, f uh, three blocks in the same room minimum. So somehow we need to... No, but that's not possible, is it? Oh yeah, we can push it down and push it to the right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So... Let's just keep going and see what happens. So now we need a yellow key. I don't know if I can even pick up another yellow key at this point. I can pick this one up. Oh, no, I can't. If I didn't have this red key, I could pick up the fire boots and then get the yellow key, but that's not going to work. Okay, so this seems pretty complicated. Um, hmm. Well, no matter what, I'm pretty confident I start with this. Yeah, so actually we don't want to get red keys right away. Yeah, actually having all the red keys isn't that good for me because it means I can't pick up these fire boots. So let's just pick up... Well, let's just start immediately trying to rearrange these blocks. So I can just straight away go here. Oh no, I need to get the chips first. So I'm actually forced to pick up two red keys at the start. Maybe even more than two. Am I forced to pick up all the red keys in order to get all the chips? Maybe? Maybe I can do it like this. Okay, now I have all the all the chips for the minimum number of red keys. Oh, I don't actually remember if I'm supposed to go up or down to avoid the red key. That was the wrong guess. Uh, but that means I have access to these blocks. Let's just okay. Let's let's restart and try that again. So I'm gonna pick up all the red keys, uh, all the chips while getting the minimum number of red keys, which I do like this. Oh, I need another yellow key. Oh my god, let's try that again. But this time, pay a bit more attention. Okay, so that's two yellow keys, that means I can pick up these chips. Cool. Okay, so I want to go up for this teleport, let's keep that in mind. Um, okay, so we can push this over. Now we can actually avoid the thief. Or we could if we didn't have the blue key. Uh, what are we doing with this block again? We're pushing it to the... Oh, actually, I don't see what we're doing with this block. Because I... Oh yeah, yeah, we're pushing it down. I forgot. We're pushing it down, which means we may as well use the recessed walls. Okay, let's push this down. Um, yeah, so that's now over here where we haven't opened up the socket yet. Maybe we should have done that beforehand. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just try rearranging everything into this room. So I'm actually not going to push this block to the right right away, because if I remember correctly, it's underneath a key right now. So let's pick up these fire boots while we don't have the red key. 
And now, actually, do, do, do we want to get the other set of... No, it doesn't make sense. Why would we want to get two sets of fire boots? Now we push this over, and this is a room where I'm going to try to beat the level. So, yeah, we, we're going to need to get all the blocks over here, if that's our goal. Can I use this recess wall already? Um, let's use it later. For now, I think it's still easy enough to get more fire boots. Yeah, let's take these fire boots. And there's never any harm in getting a yellow key. I'm not sure I wanted the red key though. Okay, now we can push this block up into position. No, that was the position. Yeah. Okay, now we're just trying to get all three blocks into this room. Okay, so let's start with this room. Now if we push this block into the portal, it ends up here. I think we should start with this block, actually. Although, what's quite annoying is that this is the last room where I could possibly still get the fire boots. Which makes you think I did something out of order. Oh well, let's just try pushing this and see what happens. I'm gonna avoid the thief because I'm really running low on available fire boots. Yeah, this actually looks good because I can push this over here and then push this block up and then get the fire boots and push it back down. Which I think is exactly what I need to do. Push it up, get the fire boots, push it back down. And I think we have it more or less exactly where we want it now. Um, and now... Is that right? So now we just push that over. And then we can use this. Yeah, I think this is already the solution. Push that over. Oh, that was underneath fire. Okay, so we were one set of fire boots short. You know, it would be helpful if I started numbering these rooms actually. Since this is the first room, let's just call it one. This is two, this is three, this is four. And we're trying to get everything into room number four. So let's start by getting something from room number three into room number four. That should be our first objective. With that said, this forces us to pick up another set of red keys, which is not, not might, might not be something we want. Or does it? We can actually go through here. So this is so room number three here, and we want to be on this side on room number three, which allows us to pick up these fire boots. And now I don't feel bad about using the red key there. And we're trying to push this block downwards. Um, Let's just pick this up and use that. I didn't want to pick up that red key. Okay, hold on. Let's get back to the right room, which is this one. And push this block. I'm using a blue key before I can even push into position. 
Maybe we we'll use this room in order to get that blue key. But I need to be careful not to run out of fire boots again. Okay, where else can we get? Oh, that wasn't smart. Let's go again. So let's pick this up. And now I'm gonna assume this is the final room. So I've called this room number three. Uh, and now I can already go around the thief and use this to avoid getting red keys. Okay, so yeah, we got, we got a block in this room, so let's open up these sockets. Okay, so our goal is going to be to get two blocks in these two positions, and I can actually just push them down and then to the right. Yeah, and in fact I could get these fire boots, right? If I have two blocks in these two positions, I could get the fire boots and then push them back out, out of position and yeah. Yes, yeah, so I could use these fire boots potentially. Interesting. Uh, but for now I'm trying to get a block in. No, I didn't want to pick that up. I'm trying to get a block in this room. Uh, through the teleport. Well, I feel like I completely wasted a set of fire boots just now. Let's pick these up. And as I was saying, I want to get these across. If I go through this portal, do I pick up a set of red keys? I don't. Okay. So that's in position, and now I just need to get one more. Uh, one more block in position. That's the last red keys. I didn't want to pick those up either. Uh, but let's see, I just need to push this down. And go around and push it down a second time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have pushed that all the way up. That was... Or does it matter? I just need any set of fire boots to be available for me right now. And right there I see some that I can pick up. Hello key, why not? Okay, and we can exit. Yeah, I was really confusing myself because I thought for some reason I need to push, in order to get a block here, I need to push it to the right, but that was totally unnecessary. Oh no. Uh, I think we might be skipping this level. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna just skip this one. So see you on the next level. Okay, I just took a look at a map of this level and it looks fine. It seems like most of the action happens in just this free wide strip as you can see here. And there isn't much blue wall stuff. So I'll give it a chance. Uh, okay. So I guess all I can do here is push the block to the left. And push this other block across. All right then. So 
this is essentially a free wide level for the most part. That's a bit unusual. Uh, what do we want to do here? Careful. And here we get back into this area. Yeah, so from what I saw, cause I, like I said, I looked at the map. Um, you kind of go in and out of this part of the level. What's going on here? Do I want to go to the left or do I want to go up? Is there any way I can tell? I don't see any good coming from pushing this block downwards, so let's push it up. Um, I guess we have to blow this up. Oh, I see. So we'll push this down, get the other block in position, and push this back up in order to activate that. Okay, and I guess I'm forced to blow this up on that bomb. Or was I forced to do that? Whatever, let's keep going. Uh, I don't want to push that. A reverse reading order means this is a safe one. What's this glider going to do? Is that going to blow itself up? Or is it going to get stuck on this portal and <laughs> screw us over? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I guess we just pick up this chip and keep going. Nope, there's nothing over there. Oh, this glider didn't follow the pattern I thought it would. Okay, does this kill me? Oh, it doesn't kill me! Hold on, as I'm replaying this, I noticed that I actually missed a chip down here. No, that's not right. I missed the chip down here. So let's pick that up. Am I supposed to be able to infer that there's gravel underneath this block? Maybe if there's gravel here, I could guess that, but... All right, right now I'm just assuming this floor under that. Okay, what happens if I push a block to the right? It's gonna go down here, which is not really what we want. What do we want? So something... Okay, first of all, can we actually hit the toggle button again? I think we can. No, we can't. It might have been possible to hit the toggle button before we did anything with these blocks. Yeah, so it would have actually been possible. I mean, there's no way to tell this in advance, but it would have been possible to have the opposite toggle state. I don't think that would be any better though. So what can we do with this block? We can just push it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, where was I? So, yeah, I can pick this up. So something else picking up was like, uh, if, if we had the glider here at the right time, we could partial post a block and get it to blow this thing up. Actually, just in general, if we have a glider stuck here, we can blow this palm up. Uh, but then we're stuck, right? And that confines us to just this area. Oh, actually, no, we can go back here. Why am I trying to do that? Why am I even trying to do that in the first place? 
So I'm not sure if I want this glider to be going in a circle if, or if I want it to be deflected and go to the left. What are we going to accomplish with the suction boots? It means we can hit the toggle switch. I actually think it's unlikely that I want this glider to move to the left. So let's just assume that's not what we're trying to do. Um, I guess we want to partial pose this block. To hit this bomb. And we can follow. And reactivate this. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and then we're back in this area and I'm actually going to check because I wouldn't be surprised if this is one where it's different. Nope. Alright then, let's keep going. So this is interesting. Okay, so we have to push these blocks over to the left. We don't have that many spare blocks. And clearly we need to, in order to get to this chip, we need to fill in these two these three blocks. So let's think about how we can fill in the top row. Um, so if, push, if I push this to the right, then every other block can fill in the top row. That seems as efficient as I can get. Actually, how? No, this isn't right. That's not right because I can't actually push this to the left now. Yeah, I messed up. Well, let's, let's take a look at the rest of the level and see what else is in store for us. A yellow key? Where are we getting a yellow key? Is that underneath one of these blocks? No. Alright, we just go past here. Uh, I think we don't want the red keys. Nice. Actually, that's fine. We're just spending them over here. Ah, so do, do we want to spend the yellow key over there or not? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Is this a decision? Do I have to decide between getting fire boots or spending red key here? I don't get it. Oh, actually we can't use the red key here. Right, because then we have no way out. We need these fire boots. But then I'm wondering... Okay, then I guess I just have to get two, uh, two yellow keys in this area. I don't have a choice here. And again, I don't have a choice. So that's one yellow key. Don't want to go here yet. I think I'm missing something. Does this somehow loop me back to where I was before? Let's try all these doors out. Oh great, guess we're mixed with recessed walls. No, it does not lead me back. Okay. Yeah, I showed up, I already know that. Okay, so clearly I've done something wrong with both these puzzles. Let's get back to the top right area. Okay, so we're back in this room and yeah, this is where I messed up last time. So I've got to be careful because it's not so easy to push blocks to the left from here. Let's see. Uh, so. I think if 
I push this to the right first. I feel like I need to fill in this block. But it also feels wasteful if I do that. If I fill in these two blocks, then it's not enough, is it? Okay, what, what am I going to accomplish with this block? I'm never going to be able to push it upwards. So, pushing it downwards isn't helpful, so I'm fairly sure I should be pushing this to the right. Uh, then let's push these across. Yeah, but this doesn't work. This is the exact same problem as last time. Okay, I'll have to try that again on the next attempt. And here I completely missed what I'm supposed to do. So I can avoid all the red keys like this. If I have two yellow keys and I get that chip. But I also want the fire boots, I assume. What's the idea here? Well, getting these red keys seems fairly harmless because we just spend them all down here. Unless I'm missing something, I have a single yellow key right now. Which is just not going to help me. It's not going to help me get this chip. Okay, let's look at this room again, so I can only clone one thing. Um, and I'm forced to do this. Hang on, I didn't do this last time. Uh, how do I... So I'm back in this room again. So I need to fill in... Three tiles to the left from here. Almost feels like the only non-wasteful move is this, which is also how I started last attempt. May as well fill this block in here and this one here. No, yeah, this block is in the way, so I'm forced to go this path. Ah, that, that's it. Okay, now I get it. I was, I was filling in this block before, but that's a waste. Okay, that's pretty clever little puzzle. Uh, let's wait and make sure we don't need these flippers. Yeah, I think we can just use the flippers. I don't recall there being any flipper check down there. Now we simply pick up the remaining, hopefully, free chips over here. Yeah, and we finish the level. Alright, I was pretty scared of this when I first saw it, but it ended up being quite a decent level. So yeah, nice job, and thanks for watching everyone. See you guys in the next part.